how to automatically move rows to a specific worksheet based on text in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can move an entire row to a specific worksheet based on the cell value. And most important part is this is fully automatic because after you enter the text, it will automatically move the value to a specific worksheet. You don't need to do anything else. So let's get started. <laughs> I have created several tutorials on moving and copying data to different worksheet or different places based on value. You can check them here. Let's get back to this tutorial and we have sample data here in column A to column D. Okay, we have serial number, project name, assigned person and project status. Now here in our project status, it will be pending, ongoing and done. Three status will be written here and if I write done in any of these cells, it will move the entire row to the completed worksheet okay so here i have told you earlier the data will be moved to a specific worksheet it doesn't matter how many worksheet you have it will move only to the specific worksheet for your understanding let's create another worksheet here let's see it's sheet one okay and i'm not going to use it or i'm not going to do anything in sheet one i'm going to use the master worksheet and move the data to completed worksheet i have created sheet one so that you can understand you can customize which worksheet you can send the data okay we're going to use VBA in this project so click on developer tab click on visual basic click insert and click module now write the code I have already written the code here check here this is the worksheet this is called master worksheet and we have this is our master worksheet so we are going to move all the data based on text from master worksheet to completed worksheet so here is the source worksheet you can remember it by this way the source worksheet is master worksheet and you will have to write the name here then this is the destination worksheet where you want the data to be paste or to be moved so this is our completed worksheet and you can see in this line you will have to name the destination worksheet also and here you will have to write the source worksheet and you can see here this is the range d this is indicating total column d okay so we are going to move the data based on the text in this column okay whenever we write done here in column d it will move the data from master worksheet to completed worksheet okay so that is our specific column based on which we are going to move the data we are going to move if in column D we write down and you can see here it is case sensitive that's why you need to understand whatever you write here you will have to write the exact same thing in column D so our specific text is done whenever it will find the word done in column D it will move the data to the completed worksheet okay so here you will have to write the destination worksheet and again you will have to write the word based on which you are going to change the text here so remember if you have different name you just replace the master with your source worksheet name and replace the completed with your destination worksheet name and if you have different value just change the done word with your specific word okay so this is our first part we have created our macro now if i close here if i write here something done but it doesn't move it so it is not automatic yet now i'm going to add another code here so that whenever i write here done it will move the data to the next or completed worksheet okay so I will have to write another VBA. Now this VBA should be written in the master worksheet. Okay. So right click on the source worksheet which is master in our case and click on view code. Now you can see we have our visual basic editor open and you can see here in sheet 1 which is master worksheet we are writing the VBA inside this worksheet. So write this code here. So again here D is the column name. So what this code is doing it is looking in the column D and and if it's empty, it will do nothing. If it has any value, then it will call the first macro we created which is move based on value so this is actually checking if you have value in column d if it has value then it will call this macro and inside it we have already prepared so whenever we have value it will check if it met this condition and when it's met then it will move the data okay now close it so let's write something here if i write here done 
and press enter you can see that entire row has been moved you can check in the serial number it starts from 2 and if i click here completed you can see the first row is that dot okay so this is how you can automatically move an entire row to another worksheet based on a cell value okay let's check it again if i write here done and press enter the data has been moved and it has been pasted to the next empty row okay so it's not going to replace your existing data it will look for the next empty row and then paste the entire row now here is a bonus trick I'm going to create a drop down menu here so whenever I select the value from the drop down menu it will move the data okay let's create a drop down menu so I'm going to create a drop down menu with three value which is done and then ongoing and then pending click on data click on data validation and select list and select the source this is the source of our drop down list and if I click OK you can see here we just created a drop down menu okay with three value done ongoing pending so let's copy the drop down menu and you can see the drop down menu is created to all these cells now if i click here and select a drop down menu ongoing it doesn't do anything if i select pending it doesn't do anything either but if i write done here the data has been moved you can see here is our data. If I click on drop down list here and select done, the data has been moved to the next empty row. Now you can see if I move this three row, it will also move our drop down menu source. So if you need to use drop down menu, make sure you keep the drop down menu source in a different sheet. Like in this case, you can use the sheet one. So our drop down will work perfectly. So this is how you can create a drop down menu and move data to a specific worksheet based on that drop down menu. And it is totally automatic. So this is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can, please support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Kazi signing out from Excel 10 Tutorial. Thank you.